What's up, Skywatchers? What is up indeed? Tuesday, October 14th, 2025. All right, guys, the floods on the west coast of Alaska have been devastating. Typhoon Halong has been described as the main driver for this catastrophic event. I was asked recently why I did not warn of this potential. Well, I left Kotzebue, Alaska years ago because I thought this was possible, but it would have been irresponsible for me to say something like this to an entire community. We are currently living in a time where one cycle ends and another begins. Call it pole shift, call it the Kali Yuga, the six mass extinction, the not so great, great reset. The narrative will have you believe everything is fine and their AI programs will lull you into spiritual complacency while they mow you over. We're also seeing devastating flooding in Arizona, Colorado, New Jersey, and Mexico where 31 of the 32 states are receiving intense rainfall and at least 41 lives lost, and parts of Spain are completely submerged. All right, let's take a look at what I think are some contributing factors to the devastating flooding that we're seeing taking place around the world. I have seen and documented major ionospheric heating campaigns since spring up to current events. We saw the southern polar vortex split, a sudden stratospheric warming event took place. And I have demonstrated in previous videos how this is possible by catching it in real time with a split that took place at the northern polar vortex. ISCAT was operating and injecting the atmosphere with its high power microwaves and high power radio frequencies at 84,000 feet. And that split the northern polar vortex a couple years back. Now let's take a look at the radar anomaly over Australia. On October 12, 2025, the radar shows arcing wave bands crossing the entire southern hemisphere for six hours straight. And these arcing bands are radiating outward with a pulse pattern. When I checked the Australian Space Weather Forecasting Center, it showed no solar proton events, no geomagnetic storms, no polar absorption. In other words, the sun had nothing to do with this event. Yet during this same window, the ionosphere over Exmouth and Learmonth lit up with interference signatures. Now, Exmouth is the home to a powerful high-frequency transmitter system, part of the global ionospheric network. These systems can work together to rewrite the global electric current. And there are other facilities to consider in the Southern Hemisphere, from the research facilities in Antarctica to Beauvais Island. And that brings me to the King Tides. These were no normal king tides. Extreme flooding was already taking place. We saw flooding on the east coast of the United States and the water rising all the way to Alaska. And on top of that, we had a supermoon. So I don't think the remnants of Typhoon Halong had as much to do with the flooding in Alaska as all of these events combined. I see a planetary event. And we have to remember the Earth itself was pumped full of radiation for multiple days from the inside. Alright guys, I want to take a moment and thank the supporters of this channel. A huge shout out to Thankful, Lynn Perkins, and a special thank you to Richard Vizzy. I hope you know you make a huge difference, my friend. Alright guys, much love and many thanks. Okay, Sky Watchers, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up.